We have about 120 odd tools and we come up with new ones weekly almost. So and how do you help people learn to use the platform? You have a webinar kind of stuff like any other platform, FAQs or? It's, it's, it's a growing platform at the moment on, on that front. It's uh, to an extent learning for us on, on some of that. It's, we are very much about the service we provide really must be simple and easy to use. Yeah. If, if we haven't got it like that and if, if people are struggling, we want to know about it so we can tweak it and change it and make it be, be really right. But hopefully each service they come into, we take the user on a journey through it that explains it to them bit by bit as they as they use it. So there's someone right by besides you helping you and training you or you have to hire that person from you or like... So the, 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 the whole point of it is it's got to be... Self? Self, yeah. I mean, it's, it's very simple. Do it yourself kind of thing? Yeah. Yes. It, it's, it, it's easy to use. That's the whole point of it. It's so really complicated. So complicated. If, I, if I had a band here and I, and I said like, um, or let's say I was a promoter and I have like five bands that I want to take over to play to the UK, um, I, would, I would log into my, you know, Amplit account and I would find all this information there. Like, how would you guys help me? Venues, to promoters. You have all so, okay. so we, we so we ha we actually have one feature which is out now, which is being used by festivals, mm -hmm. and it's called Apply to Play. So that that allows festivals and events to actually put out book, and yeah, basically mm -hmm. give opportunities to um, artists. To I apply. saw posts in your social media that applied for playing or something like that. You guys have some of that. I didn't understand. So yeah. that's the new feature. So that's the new feature. That's oh, out there now. Okay. So so now we're having lots of artists who are applying to play at uh, major festivals. Oh, uh, wow. And this is a great opportunity because they wouldn't have normally have had that because the agents would get involved. Yeah. And also, who knows how to get to the festival, guys? Absolutely. <laughs> in another country, not even, even in Mexico, man. Yeah. 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 I don't even imagine going to the UK. How the yeah. hell do you know who to fucking approach yeah. Yeah. and say, hey, hear my music uh -huh. and maybe it could be a good person for your roster mm -hmm. in your next festival. Or give me a chance. I'm a new yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And most artists are just sending emails yeah. blindly to the support yeah. or info box of the festival to try and get that yeah. opportunity. Throwing a grenade, so, see if it yeah. sticks, right? Yeah. So the festivals are being bombarded with all these emails and EPKs of various different formats that even if they go through it, it's re in, almost impossible to manage. But the artists are just chucking it out there and have no idea whether it's being looked at or not. So so Apply to Play is all about really, I guess from, from the way we look at it, other than enabling a service, it's about really enabling that communication flow between those two entities involved. Wow. And also I think, you know, when, when you have an artist emailing a festival, I can guarantee you if it's just a blanket email. Oh, yeah, it will yeah. suck. An artist writing an email no, usually no, sucks. No, no. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you know they're not going to see it. You know, so. it's a shot in the dark because, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it's a big probably it has a lot of spelling errors and all this. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hi, I, mean, I want to play. Get, bye. Getting noticed is, is an art in and of itself, you know. So, yeah. It, uh, yeah, no, artists are like the worst for that. And also, so you guys have the venues, the promoters, the social media, no communications tools for the artists. What is the like for you guys in your experience? What is like the the crown of the tools? Like the one you say, this is the most the thing I'm most proud of of a platform that makes you guys this makes us a stand out as a business. I mean, we've got some things that come in that we're gonna be super proud of, oh. but the things that are here at the minute, it probably is sort of apply to play. The yeah. the feedback that comes back from artists going that wow, we've had this opportunity to do this, our biggest thing we want are more it opportunities. <laughs> yeah. It's but even if it hasn't worked, even if they've not been accepted, mm -hmm. the fact that they got an email come back to them and say, Sorry, not this wow. time is is Massive. Having a no and, and, is the yeah. best thing ever. Yeah. Well, Having nothing sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because and you never know what happened. How can you improve? What did they say? Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And, and, you know, and just having that opportunity. You know, the, again, it's that kind of, oh, there, there is an opportunity to play the Isle of Wight Festival. There's a slot. I, they wouldn't have had that opportunity before. So for us, you know, it's a free service. So it's free for the festivals. It's free for the artists to apply. So no, we don't make any money from the Apply to Play. But what, what it's doing is it's really supporting... Driving traffic and people to yeah. learn about the platform, of course. Yeah, and it's supporting those artists, you know. It's giving them an opportunity, which... So that's had. kind of your purpose as a company, yeah. just to, to really help industry. to support yeah. the industry yeah. and make money while doing it. It's yeah, the, the other day, if, if we can. If yeah, we can, sure. if we can. It's the same as <laughs> us. Like, if we can, we can make some money off of it. Because but. to be honest, <laughs> we have something alike. Negro Pasión, the, the online marketplace we have, was born in the pandemic to help artists make some extra money when everything was shit, <laughs> went to shit in terms of live shows and everything. These guys were leaving the start of a new band and everything went to shit when 
when the pandemic hit, nobody knew what the hell was going on. And we created the, 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 the store to start helping artists sell and create some extra money. And it became something very big through time and it's been growing. And, and we always say, well, if we can help a couple guys understand better the industry, make some money, that's... Yeah, I, th I think Absolutely. the best Good for um, the best businesses are the ones that where you scratch your own itch. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and you try and, and, and you try and do something about it, or yeah, yeah. Know, have yeah. a purpose of making a change. Yeah, in something you love. 